Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did, but the first thing this morning was the snuggle with Penny. Uh, we She doesn't sleep in my bed uh, because I think she should be, you know, safe when she's not around me. So I'm trying to make her safe spot here so she can always go in there and, you know, have a nap and feel like she's safe there. Her her uh, mother's uh, owner was telling me that, that it's like the best thing I can do to myself and to her to give her that safe spot so she can really like feel safe everywhere. I am so grateful that she does that. She sleeps super well and then 6 a.m. we go out for the morning uh, pee and poo and then um, we have morning snuggles in my bed. And that's like my best time of the day. We also have afternoon snuggles. And um, I'm not very efficient at the moment. I'm not getting much done because I'm like obsessed with watching her do whatever she's doing. I'm like, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, like every move she's doing, I'm like obsessed with. So I'm so grateful for Penny. She's like, um, yeah, she really adds to my life. It's amazing how such a tiny little creature can add so much happiness and joy. Uh, I'm also extremely grateful for my program of codependency, uh, which helps me deal with things that I find totally unmanageable and uh, emotions that I have no idea of how to harbor, you know, and, and I always put them on other people instead of trying to, you know, like digest and, and fully like, you know, harbor them myself. Like, uh, I don't think I've ever learned how to do that as a child and I feel like I have to really learn that to be a healthy person. I'm also very, very grateful for um, for being, you know, Swedish, being a woman in Sweden at this time of, of life uh, or like timeline. Why is I just like, you know, imagine being a woman in the 50s, like uh, you know I'm quite feministic and I feel like women aren't listened to in the way they should and I feel like, you know, being born in Sweden in 1981 that I was is such a blessing, you know, and I feel like being born in Sweden later than that is like even more of a blessing. I look at with my nieces and they're, they're so independent, they're like so cool and I feel like maybe we're, we're going towards an equal society. I'm sure it's gonna take way longer but at least it's looking as if we're approaching it and that makes me very very grateful and happy <sighs> okay um i'm having my period in two days so um emotionally uh it's not easy right now but um it's what it is get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye of the universe So what's going on in your body and in your mind? Observe your breathing. We're gonna start taking control of our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. Also the belly comes to chest. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Beautiful, we're gonna come back to this breath eventually, but first we're gonna do the breath of fire. And we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. And why we do this in every class is so that we um, start up the functions of our inner body 
first of all, it's extremely great for your core muscles. When you, when you like push your belly button towards the spine like this, your whole core musculature is activated. And not just that, but you also give your inner organs a massage, which make them function way better. So it's fantastic for your whole body. It's also like, um, you know, starts the energy system going in your body and the uh, bl blood pressure, the blood pressure, the blood flow. Um, you, you get a way more, um, the metabolism and all the flows in your body is um, activated by doing this breathing. So you should wake up and start with fire breathing every morning. It's gonna, it's gonna, only that is gonna make a, make a major, you know, uh, impact of your life. And I understand that, you know, thinking that maybe 15 minutes of yoga isn't gonna do much of a change, but practice this with me. Like really do the classes, it's going to, to like give you major changes. So let's do the breath of fire, uh, inhale to start. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the hip road. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Switch direction. So we're going to come down on our back straight. You're going to have to make a little space for me, Fluffy. Hey, Penny. She loves the yoga mat. I can't remove it anymore. We're going to work with twists today. So we're going to start. Come here. We're going to start with laying our arms out to the sides. On the inhalation, come down with your knees. To the right, look over your left shoulder. On the exhalation, come to the middle. Inhale, come down to your left with your leg and look over your right shoulder. Exhale to the middle.
place our right foot on our left knee. We're gonna grab hold of the knee and just lean back. your left foot and come down with your right foot to the left side look over your right shoulder Switch leg. She's not scared of her life, huh? I have. I think she has no idea of how tiny she is. She's like very confident. She thinks she <laughs> owns the world. <laughs> with your left foot on your right foot on the left side and look over your left shoulder. an intense stretch for me because I have a lock in my left hip um, my leg is rotated inwards so my left um, leg is always a bit of a struggle and um, yeah this is one of the most intense stretches that I know in it oh, slowly get out of position and back to Taylor's position. She's like, where's my phone? Where is it? Here it is. And you have a piece of my hair here. And that's very nice. So what is this? Oh. I don't know if it's paper or something that got stuck on it. Let's get down on our sitting bench. So we're gonna finish this class together with a short meditation. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just with yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come, only you in this moment. Oh. Sa 
Ga chi da bru te ne ro da ha ta ta trash tu sa ru be Jataya, klishta, klishta, Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're gonna finish today's class together with three shanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and the back. Stop. your forehead to do think good thoughts through the day to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to others namaste now she's like eating my shorts again this is a problem okay i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow remember to go out there and give because the world needs that